Alright, here I'm at my axe, is in. I have, have one sitting there, one grabber. You see me? I would have one sitting like a machine or your swipe, so pick yard, you know, but you know, so big, I want to look a small machine, like. So, wait, 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 that they do is like. We, say as an example, somebody give you the card if you buy gas or sitting off of it. If you run, if you can run it through, you grab a, if a one million dollar they have in an account, you grab a pick up your information and go build a different card off of it and get the whole one million dollar out of your account and would have split it like 50 50 for me and you. You see me? So that's why I ask you. So what I would do is I would give it, I would give it, grab a, uh, like if somebody come there, if you buy it sitting or so, you would run it, it can't throw it, grab a first, and then you run it to feel the original machine and charge them a normal amount of money where they would have purchased the item for. But what I would do is I would have the card information, panic grabber. So I would wait until they go somewhere else, go use the card again, then we just build a card off of it and take out the whole money. Morning, nurse Todd. Sorry to message you so early, but I'm just letting you know, be very careful of using ATM machines in Montego Bay and in any parish really, because something is happening where I don't know how, but you're duplicating your ATM cards and they are withdrawing all your funds. It happened to me. The bank called me on Wednesday to notify me. So they moved every dollar of my salary. And when the bank told me, they also told me that the money was not even withdrawn anywhere in Montego Bay, outer parish, far, far outer parish. They didn't want to disclose the location. And three friends contacted me last night and they work in the free zone era. One work in the free zone era. Another one works in Montego Bay and uses the ATM at Fairview. Um, some persons use the one at BOS as well. And they have withdrawn all their funds. Narda that lives in Kingston, they hacked her account and take away all our savings plus our salary. So please, we have to go back to the old time days. Either you're going to pull all of the money and you keep it in your yard and you use it little, little. But please be very careful. It is We don't know which one of these machines are compromised because only two machines in Montego Bay I use. And it's the NCB Bank on the Go machine, either the one at Bay West or the one on St. James Street. And I use the ATM at the credit union. Two ATMs I use. And the NCB was the last one I used last week when we got paid. I pulled 30000 when we got paid. And I left 109 in the account. And on Sunday, the 27th, they pulled out every dollar. So I am begging you. Are you going to pull out your money? Keep it at home or you're going to deactivate the card, something, but it's happening to every one of the banks. It happened to Victoria Mutual. It happened to Scotia customers. It's happening to NCB customers. So please, I am just telling you because it's happening to almost everybody. Every day, someone is telling me that this happened to them. So be very careful. Well, <laughs> good evening to everyone. Well, they cleared out my account at Scotia Bank, and they made an attempt on my NCB account. Also, a day later, NCB managed to block them, but lazy Scotia made the people them clean out their account to just about eight hundred and thirteen dollars left in there. They were that kind to leave, I guess, um, GCT or some something, some I don't know, some some fees probably can pay some fees for the year or something yeah they left me the 813 dollars on scotia account which was the main account yeah and scotia bank is wonderfully telling me hey probably can take up 220 days for investigation so I, well, let me not say it i will keep quiet but yes it's a real thing and 
persons are getting hit hard. Um, one suspicious mag uh, machine, AT machine that might have been hit is the Sajikor ATM machine in Fairview. That seems to be one of the machines that have been compromised. I don't know if there are any other. Um, you mentioned, as Jordan mentioned, the NCB inside of Mega Mart. Anything is possible. So I don't know what we're supposed to do now because, of course, it is difficult for us all to go line up at the bank, especially in this COVID time, to join a line inside the bank. I went, we went to the bank this morning, not this morning, yesterday morning at 6.30. 6.30 in the morning, and there are probably about 20 persons at Scotia Bank, and I had about 10 for customer service at NCB and about 20 persons for the cost for the tellers at NCB. So that's how early we have to go back now. We got giant line like them back in the visa days. Yeah, this thing is real. It is scary. Um, and to tell the truth, none of us even really know what to do. Okay, I skip from one machine and then probably pick you up somewhere else. You don't even know what to do.